bridge. Start by lying with your feet and knees lined up with your front hip bones. We are in neutral spine, so you've got the little natural curve in your lower back. The backs of the ribs are down. The back of the neck is long. We're going to start with a couple of tilts. And I want you to think about what's happening through your neck as you tilt. So you're going to soften your lower back down towards the mat. As you do so, lengthen through the top back of your skull so that the back of your neck stays long. In fact, it lengthens a little bit more. You may create a double chin here. Release the tilt and let yourself settle back into neutral. So you're going to soften the lower back down and lengthen the back of the neck. So you're stretching the back of the neck and release. Once you've got that, you turn it into the bridge. So soften the lower back down, lengthen through the back of the neck, and then roll up one vertebra at a time, keeping the ribs nice and soft and lifting up so that your pubic bone is the highest point. The backs of your ribs may lift off the mat, but you're not thrusting them up with effort in your back. Instead, all the work that you're feeling is coming from the bum and the backs of the legs. In that lifted position, breathe wide into the backs and sides of your ribs. And then breathe out to roll and lengthen yourself back down, finding each section of your spine as you go. Come all the way to neutral. Breathe wide into the ribs. And then breathe out, soften the lower back down, lengthen through the back of the neck. Lead with the pubic bone as if a string is coming out of your pubic bone and that is what is pulling you up. So the ribs just settle down, almost feel like they're curving into the front of your body. Breathe wide into the ribs at the top. And then from the breastbone, lengthening and softening the spine back down one foot. All the way to neutral at the bottom. Breathe wide into the ribs. Breathe out, soften the back down, lengthen through the back of the neck. Roll up one vertebra at a time. Ribs stay soft and settled. Breathe wide into the ribs. And breathe out to lengthen, just see the spine to lower it back down. And the next one we're going to add in the arms. Breathe wide into the ribs. Breathe out, soften the lower back down, lengthen the back of the neck, and roll up, leading the pubic bone, letting the spine and the ribs just follow. Once you're lifted, breathe in as you lengthen the arms overhead, but still keeping the ribcage contained. Don't let the arms going back take the ribcage up. It still stays down. Breathe wide into your ribs here. And then reach your hands away as you roll the spine back down. So you're getting a nice tractional stretch all the way to neutral. And then breathe in to bring the arms by your side. Breathe out to soften the lower back down, lengthen the back of the neck and roll up. Cubic bone is the highest point. Breathe in to take the arms overhead. They hover just above the floor if you can get them that far. It doesn't matter how far they go. Only as far as you can go without the ribs popping up. Exhale as you roll yourself back down one vertebra at a time. And then come all the way to neutral. Let's do two more of those. Exhaling to soften down and lengthen the back of the neck. And then roll up. Breathing in to take the arms back. Breathing out to roll yourself down away from your hands. And breathing in to bring the arms by your side. One last one, exhaling to soften down, lengthen the back of the neck and roll up. Breathe in to take the arms back. Reach away from yourself to get that tractional stretch as you roll yourself down. And then bring the arms by your side. Rotation. Lie with your head on a cushion. Make sure there's plenty of cushion behind you for when your head rolls back. Your arms are forward in an arrow and you're in neutral spine. So you've got the natural curve in the lower back, but the ribs are not thrusting forward. They're staying contained. Slide your top arm forward till you feel a stretch across the shoulder blades. Then reach the hand up to the ceiling. When it's pointing up to the ceiling, let the arm bone drop down into the socket. And then you're going to keep it like that. Keep the ribs contained as you rotate the spine. Make sure you're not trying to get your arm to the floor by dropping it out of the shoulder socket. So you should feel some effort behind in your shoulder blade to hold the arm in place. Check what's happened with your ribs. Have they thrust up and you've arched to get further back? 
Don't let your back come into an arch. You've rotated around a neutral spine. Now reach the arm overhead, get a stretch around the back of the armpit and circle back around to the beginning. Slide forward, reach up, look to your hand as you go, the arm drops into the socket and then rotate the spine around, keeping the ribs contained and looking at your hand the whole time. If you don't turn your head, your spine won't turn as much. Then reach your fingers up and away, draw the biggest arc that you can to really stretch around the shoulder. Let's do two more on this side. Make sure you've got that shoulder in the socket when you're pointing the hand up to the ceiling and then rotate the spine with the ribs contained to come back and open. Reach with your fingers, a nice big arc around. And one last one, slide out, point up to the ceiling, drop the shoulder down into the shoulder girdle and then keep the knees together but let them slide apart as you rotate the spine around. Reach up and around with your fingers and all the way back to the beginning. We're going to swing around and do that on the other side. So make sure you've got plenty of cushion behind your head. Your knees are bent forward. Your hand, your top hand is on your bottom hand in an arrow. You're sliding forward, getting that stretch across the shoulder blades, then reaching up to the ceiling. Look to your hand, drop the shoulder down into the shoulder girdle, and then rotate the spine. Make sure that you're keeping your ribs contained and you're not dropping the arm out of the shoulder socket. Get closer to the floor. Then reach up and around, watching your hand as it circles overhead and you're reaching as far as you can to get a good stretch. Make sure you've come back to neutral spine. Many of us come back into a curve and a tuck. So make sure you've got your neutral spine. Slide the top arm forward, reach up to the ceiling. Look at your hand as it drops down into the shoulder girdle and then rotate with contained ribs. And then circle the arm up and around to come back to the center. Check that you're in neutral spine and we'll do two more. Let the shoulder drop down into the shoulder girdle and watch your hand as you go. Rotating up and around, really stretch out around the back of your armpit. One last one, slide forward, reach up to the ceiling, shoulder drops down and the spine rotates around. And reach up and around and return back to the center.